through the rain together You said I look nice, I said you looked pretty You held my hand, you pulled me close And whispered, take me home This is the final product of the project I was working on And let's see if I can do this I fail at perspective for this camera um, there's an envelope, this is DFTBA, the Ben Piles, and here Spoke is the, the Harry Potter lion symbol, story. and if you look carefully at the jar, it'll say five, uh, we wrote our names in a heart on the sand and saw the sea yeah. wash it away, I said I want you ben in Piles. your life. Yeah. So this is by Ross and Ben Pals on it. And there were a couple other things I wanted to put on it that I didn't have enough room to do. But I'm I'm super excited to be the first one to actually make my jar and super excited to use it. Um, I just found this arts kit in like the cabinet and I was like, oh, I could do stained glass on the glass bottle that I'm going to use for our jar. And so I tried it and I made a first attempt and it turned out kind of not nearly half as cool as this one. And um, so I went to the store today and I bought an art kit and this is what I did and not study for finals. These are some of the favorite books that I like to read. A lot of them on this side are um, YA novels. Currently I'm actually reading The Chronicles of Narnia and the first one. I haven't actually read it before which is kind of sad on my behalf. Um, I started it this weekend and it's a really easy read and I'm at page 151. I'm reading it in lieu of the next movie that's coming out. I think Friday one of the Chronicles and Onia movies is coming out. I just have Mocking Jay, which sadly enough I haven't actually finished reading because I was in college when I got it. I got it the day it came out and I read, I don't know, maybe 50 pages into it, but I couldn't really get into it because I needed to study. So I was never really able to get into Mocking Jay. And then recently I've been re um, getting into his, the His Dark Material series, which I really enjoy. Um, I just finished The Amber Spyglass, and I had read The Golden Compass when I was in 8th grade, but they didn't have it at the library when I went to get it, so I have it now, so I'm going to listen to it. Uh, I like to listen to audiobooks a lot of times, I guess, during the school year, because... I don't actually have time to read, but I have time to listen. Over here, I have some more, I guess, adult-themed novels. Actually, A Wrinkle in Time is a YA novel. I have also The Swiftly Moving Planet, which is, I think, the third one in the series. But I don't know where it is right now. And I really liked A Wrinkle in Time. I read that when I was in seventh grade, I think, for the first time. Well... Might not even the first time, but I really got into it. Um, that time I read it and I started trying to make, draw the fifth and sixth dimension because I thought I could. If you want to see Jane talking about her favorite books, there's going to be an annotation right here linked to her personal channel. You should watch it. And Amanda, she'll see you tomorrow.